I'm the one on the field, so you don't really feel it. Because to me, it's what I do every day, but then people don't see that every day, so then they're really amazed. But for me, it's just like, oh, just another day in the gym, just another workout. It's hard to keep doing this sport when you already won pretty much everything. Um, to find the motivation somewhere, but this is what everybody else experienced in the sport, and I think this is where she's at right now. I'm still very humble, and I still work really, really hard for everything that I've done and that I'm trying to accomplish, so I think that's where you draw the line and that's the barrier. It's like, I don't just sit back and relax. I keep upgrading and I keep trying to improve myself and my gymnastics. I just see a difference um, in the person that, you know, that we've known from the first Olympics because this was, um, this was a Simone that needed a lot of guidance from us. She always said this first time around, she didn't really enjoy what she did. She just went through the motion. Now she's like, all right, I'm going to try to enjoy it. Before that, I was always afraid of what everybody else saw, and I was trying to meet everybody else's expectations because you almost don't feel in place if you're just like, oh, I want to do this, and everybody's like, well, don't you want to get first? And you're like, yes. So I feel like it was the weight of everybody else's expectations, and this time, I feel like it's just for me and I can go out there and kind of test my limits and just really enjoy myself, the gymnastics, and just be like, okay, well it's for me this time and that feels nice. For people looking on female athletes, I feel like we already don't get the same recognition as men, but when the men celebrate, they're celebrated as men and they're celebrated with them and I feel like as women it's like how many grand slams has Serena won and she's like oh yeah I'm good and they're like ew there she goes she's cocky again and it's like but if LeBron's like I'm good he's like yeah you are good you're the best or this or that and it's just like even Floyd Mayweather he's like super super cocky and people love that about them but then I go do an interview and I'm like yes I am the best and they're like there goes this brat again, like, who does she think she is? And it's like, it's not even that. It's like, you have like Serena or me or other athletes going on winning streaks. And if we say we're good, they're like, ah, oh, she's just cocky. And it's like, but it's literally on the paper. I, I just don't get how they don't see that. But I think we're doing a good job at kind of being a voice and being okay with saying that we're good and recognizing that ourselves. Women around the world have starting to speak up a lot more and I think she's taking that chance and to show um, you know I'm a woman I'm a black woman um, and I'm going to tell everyone I'm the best and I think that it shows a lot on all our athletes here and our daughter and everyone around the world like if you're good you don't be afraid to say it and yeah. nobody take it, can take it away from her. She is developing her voice um, it's not only um, gymnastics, you see her growing as a, as, a, as, 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 a, as a person that really cares for what goes on in society as it is. I think it's been amazing, especially now being 24, being a voice for the voiceless, being a voice for gymnastics, for the youth, for women, for survivors. Um, I just think it's been amazing overall because we can all kind of take a stand together and speak out for what we believe in and we also give the kids, the survivors, the women's and everybody else a voice as well and the confidence to speak out when they see something's not happening um, the way it should or something's going wrong and to just be confident in their own voice and using that. Back in 16, I thought we, you know, uh, um, I did not know the magnitude of the attention and all that, you know, because you, you, you're not, it's not, it's not your, your daily life. And so you don't know how to prepare for something that's an unknown. So now here we are 
um, like you said, there's not a Usain Bolt, there's not a Michael Phelps, there is a Simone Biles now, and um, I believe she will be the face of the Olympics, and are we ready for that? Um, as ready <laughs> as we can be, because I don't know what that's going to be like. I don't know, it's a lot of pressure, especially just like being in the village, even last time how recognizable I was, which I didn't think about that going in. It's definitely different and it's a huge expectation, but it's kind of nice to have all the other Olympians kind of rooting for me and cheering for me and having the world as well. To me, I'll just try to stay focused and do what we are going to do. Medals are medals and People can tell you who you are, who they want you to be, but being a voice, that's something people will always remember besides the medals of how good as a person were you whenever you were an athlete. Hey, thanks for watching. If you like this video, check out these other videos from USA Today to stay up to date with all the latest news.